Hey everyone, Gen Virtuality here, and this weekend we're going to try a little bit of real racing next. Um, not really sure what the next is. Uh, real Racing 3, uh, one of the staple driving games made on mobile, uh, believe it or not, came out like eight years ago, and now we're getting the long awaited sequel um, spin off game. I don't know what you want to call it, but you know, it has cars, it has racing, so it must be real racing. Uh, so let's, uh, this came out for early access. Uh, I'm giving it a shot and seeing what is, what it's about. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it's about racing, but uh, there's a couple of things that we can get into right now. It seems to have this progression. Uh, can I... It's like car. So, Real Racing 3 is really made for like the auto enthusiast. And while I'm sure that there are more cars that will be coming out for the game when it fully releases, that is for Real Racing Next, um, this is a pale <laughs> comparison to all the vehicles that you can collect in Real Racing 3. Uh, but again, early access, not sure what it's about. So let's head into a race and see what we can do, what unlocks or um, trophies, rewards, what other stuff we can collect and uh, go from there. Much like its predecessor, the graphics on the mobile devices are just stunning. Uh, and then you have various levels of, uh, you know, steer assist, brake assist. Uh, I tend to go for the button controls rather than the uh, tight yeah, thread the needle there. Um, I tend to go for the button controls over the um, tilt. Uh, tilt is an option if you want to use that. Uh, Real Racing 3 had full controller support and from what I had uh, gathered so far this does not so that's a little bit of a downer but you know maybe they'll add some in before the game fully launches globally. Uh, but I have played uh, a ton of Real Racing 3 back in the day, so uh, I did love the what it was putting down in terms of a racing experience. It's like, arcade-ish, but more in a real live sense arcade-ish. Um, I guess more along the lines of a Gran Turismo. Uh, I know that the other driving series, specifically on mobile, like the Asphalt series, um, he tends to go for that more arcadey, jumping around, taking different paths. This is, you know, you have your cars, you have your real world, world tracks, and you know, you're just off and racing. That's right, hit those cones. Uh, and the game does punish you if you're taking turns real quickly. Um, like I said, I got a little bit of steering and brake assist going for me. Ow. <laughs> Let's see how well it does. Yeah, I don't know how many laps this is, like two or so. Um, but the game will punish you if you're driving like a maniac and taking turns at like full speed. You have to slow down. And when I was thinking about doing some sort of like retro quick, quick plays on my channel, uh, Real Racing 3 was uh, coming straight to mind. Um, the game is massive uh, and takes a little bit of memory to sort of get get all the stuff downloaded onto memory. Not anything like a Genshin Impact per se, but 
it does have some assets that you need to download in order to get the uh, the full experience. Um, and there's just a ton to do in that game. Even the one of the things I thought was rather spectacular in it was like the uh, car customization and putting all the vinyls. Um, there's a lot of avenues for spending real world money in it though so you sort of need to top up on premium currency in order to sort of unlock all those tricks but uh, anyone who wants the free to play experience there's still a ton to do in there and uh, races aplenty so if that's sort of your gig uh, for an 8 year old game it still pretty much holds up This one's not so bad, and I don't. I'd like to see what uh, what comes of it. Of course, first position. We're just awesome. Um, uh, scuffed up my car by driving in the dirt, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see where the uh, where the next series goes uh, once it fully releases. We'll continue on. <gasps> completed a sponsor goal yeah I only completed one race and I wanted to sort of save this for recording and just sort of see what we can uncover together so let's do that uh, yeah we'll claim that I guess we're level two uh, thanks for playing real real racing next uh, short abbreviation you've been granted the premium pass okay so just to give you a taste, I guess it has its premium stuff and all sorts of goodies that you can unlock. Uh, so tier three prize is uh, uh, you get the Chevrolet Camaro double S. Oh yes, and it uh, has these packs. So in, instead of buying whatever upgrades you do, you tap on these packs and they'll get you what exactly? Uh, currency? Uh, wrenches that go towards your vehicle? And more wrenches towards my vehicle. My one and only vehicle. Uh, so that's all good. So I think we got some upgrades to go for. So oh, some more rewards. So let's open that up. Yeah, more wrenches and more wrenches. Uh, this pack will take 30 seconds to open. You can only queue one pack at a time. Okay. Well, we'll open that. I'm sure we can uh, get back to it in due time. Right. So you collect wrenches and you use them towards one of these four upgrade particulars, whether it's top speed, acceleration, braking, or grip. I'm going to go for with grip because... I tend to be taking that uh, those turns a little bit too harshly. Uh, well, let's go acceleration. Uh, do we still have more that we can use? We do. Let's continue at top speed. All right. And of course, our amateur pack is ready to open. More bank. And more wrenches. So I guess we can upgrade our car again. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, oh, keep racing. Don't forget your. Okay, I get ya. Can I. Can I not right now? Yeah. At least give me the option to do something before I head into another race. Thank you. Alright, so let's head back into another race and see what we can get.
be scuffing up the car any, and at least we're in a good first position right off turn one. So maybe those upgrades will, will pay off in the long run. really mean to be hitting all the pylons but at least uh, at least it adds a little bit of flavor to the game can you collect them all that one, and we'll get this one too sharp or cut it down by just a smidge we are quite ahead of the uh, second place So we should be able to get this one easily, but again, we are just starting off, so... Yeah, there he is. Hi there! My car is awesome now. You can't compete. Dex points for knocking over pylons. If you do a race perfectly, then uh, you get more bonus points for that. You never know. But I think we're about to uh, get our win here. Naturally. stuff so let's claim it yeah that's fine we can go you know, 30 minutes this time so I guess we'll have a little bit of a wait all right well maybe I'll come back and oh, nope we have another pack to unlock so I might as well do that monies wrenches wrenches at least that'll get me want to see what we have. We have another Porsche coming down the line. Well, at least it gives you some some stuff to try out once you get get through some preliminary stuff. So yeah, maybe we'll let some stuff unlock and then we'll go through a couple more races. So we'll be back in a moment. Okay, now that we've uh, spent some time, or 
had some time accumulate, uh, we can collect some of our rewards and see if we can't get into something a little bit different uh, for another quick race or two. Uh, so let's start things off by getting another amateur pack. Basically what we're used to. Let's head over to the trophy road because now we have ourselves a new vehicle. Yes, we have unlocked another car. I don't. Uh, and even going around, like having the uh, camera pan around the car, you don't really have much control over that. Maybe you will in the final product, but uh, for now, it's just sort of here's the car. I'll go at it at your leisure. Uh, nothing in terms of upgrading it for now, but we'll still take it out for a little spin. Let's see if we can't So let's see if we can't do one lap in the circuit of the Americas. it too easy on ourselves now do we plus we have to get that uh, that drafting bonus decided to be a little bit uh, crashy which wasn't us for once We cut the corner. So at least it gives you a little bit of a penalty if you're doing sort of dumb stuff like that. It tends to want you to be a good racer. So we are most of the time. don't make any dumb mistakes and we should just come out of this the winner with the new car so we won five races oh so close for that drafting one yeah 
and we also got one without crashing so got a couple things to unlock at least uh, trophy road combines the trophies earned from all your cars not just any of them fair enough uh, let's claim that and that should get us Uh, we want to we want to go for a pro am pack but it looks like it's going to take two hours to unlock that so might as well get it started and we'll see what happens once that's done but unfortunately probably not for this video we will however collect another car this camaro ss and more currency and another amateur pack uh, at least now we're getting some wrenches for another car so it seems kind of uh, strange how you always have to collect parts for the car even if it's not the one that you intend on racing so hmm uh, and I guess the next tier six is a pro pack so we'll just have to get there eventually Let's go to our garage. Uh, and we'll give it one more shot if we can do this duel. Facing Williams. Bye, Williams. Two laps of this murdering, so should be an easy W for us. Anyone who's played these real racing games are probably no stranger to this track whatsoever. Nice selection of music, at least for this particular early access. Uh, I'm hoping it gets a little bit more diverse as the development continues. Uh, it just sort of harkens me back to, again, <laughs> the real racing three days. Um, EA is no stranger to be putting on their own like particular soundtrack of like artists that they uh, want to associate with their games and that was one of the things that I really enjoyed with Real Racing 3 as well just their their audio lineup in terms of menus and going into the races and whatnot um, when I was playing 
recently I noticed that all that was taken over with, I guess, just more in-stock in-game music. Um, you know what? I don't know what the uh, licensing uh, reasoning was behind it, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it sort of took a little bit something away from the game. That's something that I sort of noted as being a little bit more high quality for for the series, uh, especially EA in general. They're no strangers for putting on popular tracks to their to their titles. Yeah, but uh, yeah, nothing nothing wrong with this either. Gets you pumped up for the race. Final turn. I actually not have hit any of the cones, surprisingly enough. Sorry, Williams, you are no match for me. Pretty much dominated that. Yeah. Got another waste race to win in a Class E car to win that reward, so I'll we'll take that up in a bit. Some more currency. Uh, and we do have another pack to open up in. Oh, just more currency. So I have a feeling that currency will come into a big part of. Oh, do we actually have a new course? Uh, because it's a new course, I want to take it. Uh, can I actually do something? Selected. Oh, I, that's the upgrade for the for the Porsche. No, we'll stick with the Camaro for now. We'll do this one last race in my part just to get a different track. Sometimes the change of scenery is just what the doctor ordered. The visuals for this particular track are already looking quite fresh. Uh, that's only if I can stay on the road. Just for the turn, I guess. Yeah, these games are no slouch for the video visuals, that's for sure. Um, even a game like that has been around as long as Real Racing 3 um, impresses me to no end each time I put it on. sun behind us and you get some of the reflections and I guess maybe some of the dirt off the road that it's sort of hit our back bumper there not quite as as shiny as maybe say the top of the car And that should do it. Uh. 
<laughs> Surprised I was enough down uh, drafting enough in order to get that little bit, but still not enough. stuff to claim and I'll have to open that champion pack at some point um, but that should just about do it for real racing next uh, but gotta be honest um, enjoyed what I played so far and recommend it if you are looking for a, a real racing experience <laughs> quote unquote um, this game certainly doesn't disappoint as far as the uh, like I said, the visuals uh, and just picking up and getting into a race. But, um, I mean, with Real Racing 3, like, I, I'm not really understanding the direction that they're going here. Uh, I sort of like the full feature package of the Real Racing 3 game. And Real Racing Next seems more of a, hey, let's slap on more timers and make upgrades a little bit more cumbersome to go come by uh, and then slap these timers on these packs that will hold cards for just collecting purposes um, but hey <laughs> like I said maybe they'll surprise us when the game fully launches and there'll be something in here that isn't quite offered in their previous title uh, I do like the fact that uh, Fire Monkeys is uh, uh, still in the driver's seat <laughs> love them puns uh, in terms of uh, developing the real racing series so uh, considering that uh, that uh, this is their next title hopefully uh, it will uh, come out with a bang if you enjoyed the video smack that like button leave me a comment or subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness because you'll never know what I'll be playing next this has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.